What's good, my fellow Shinobi? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tony Jaxi Gaming. And the video you guys are about to watch was streamed on Twitch. If you guys ever want to support me on Twitch, the link is going to be in my description down below for you guys to go follow me on Twitch and, you know, show up whenever I stream on Twitch. I'm not going to be a Twitch streamer, you know, on the daily or mostly going to be trying to stream um, as much as possible. I'm just, my, I'm just going to be streaming at random, you know? Um, as of right now, I still feel a little bit self-conscious about, you know, streaming on Twitch at the moment. It's because, like, I'm mostly just used to, like, recording because everything I say, I could just cut off if I don't feel comfortable with leaving something in the video. But everything that I'm currently saying on Twitch, it's live. So it feels awkward to really, you know, be in that type of setting other than just straight up recording. And I don't get how like people that stream for like nearly 24 hours a day <laughs> can sit there and stream without feeling self-conscious of the things they're saying. But um, I really do appreciate every single one of my friends that stopped by and, you know, gave me support. And I really will appreciate any type of support I get in my streams because I'm not really much of a streamer. I'm not really trying to become a big streamer. But um, I'm mostly just doing it just just so I can hang out with like a lot of people, you know, and just be in that type of space to where we can all just hang out and, you know, chill for a little bit. It's a nice feeling. It's a really nice feeling. So if you guys will want to like come hang out, like come on, like come on over, come on over. I'm not going to be streaming much on Twitch, but it'll be nice to like have some company over there. Anyway, I just want to let you guys know that um this video was mostly recorded from Twitch and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, so I had this game about three weeks. And I haven't even started it yet. Today is finally the day I'm starting this game. And I'm really excited to, to actually jump into Persona for the first time. I've been wanting to get into Persona when everyone was talking about Persona 5 Royale. But I never really got that chance to really experience Persona on my own. I've been mostly just seeing people play it. So this is going to be a new experience for me. And I'm going to actually, you know... See how long it see how long it takes me to get into the whole Persona series. Because I honestly want to play like Persona 5 after I play this one. If I end up enjoying this one. I might end up playing 4 as well. If they ever make a remake of that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm still I still feel a little bit weird. Because I don't stream that much. Am I really used to streaming? I'm still very new to it. So it, I kind of feel awkward every single time I stream. They have a bundle on Switch right now so for all three games. I think they have the old um, Persona 3 on there, if I remember. That might be a bundle I might pick up in the future. Anyways, anybody, everyone in the chat, say hello to YouTube. I'm about to jump on in. I'm really excited, man. Oh god, now my PlayStation sound like it's overheating. Tell <laughs> oh, me, YouTube people. Oh, I'm being held against my. <laughs> <laughs> now that's crazy. I'm not even doing anything. Doing it. Actually, you know what? She's one of my hostages.
Well, hold on, I need to make sure the game audio is fine. It's not even playing, hold on, give me a second, give me a second. I didn't realize the game audio was important. Oh, there we go. What wasn't they playing before? I didn't notice that until, until now. See, this is why I have them long freaking um, starting soon moments. It takes me like five minutes to get ready just to make sure that everything's all right. That's one of the things I need to check. I need to check audio. I need to check my mic. You thought it was a silent opening? Okay, there we go. They have a full animated opening. I'm over here, Jim. What the heck? I know you guys saw that. What in the world? We're not just gonna ignore that person jumping off the. Okay. <laughs> Twitch, that, that's just cool. Wait, <laughs> hello, wild cool. Hello, wild um, cool. Welcome in. What's going on, right? Oh, Twitch and YouTube, I swear that's cool. Wait, I'm actually like watching an anime opening. <laughs> oh, that was clean. That was clean. Welcome in, Clover. Hope you're doing all right. All right, let's get into this. Do I want to play at the hardest difficulty? Let me read the... Okay, hold on. Exceeding challenging combat. Your choice of difficulty will not affect the story. And can be changed at any time. You cannot return to... You cannot return to missions once we... Yeah. Wait, what does that mean? I've seen this opening before, but it, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm waiting. That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Thank you, Clover, for the follow. I'm waiting, to, I'm waiting for the show to start. No ninja. All right, I'm not going to start in the, mo the most hardest difficulty. I, I was thinking about it for a second. I'm like, I'm not really that great when it comes to like turn-based combat. So I might just go with just straight up hard. I don't know. What do you guys think I should do? Here to chill while you work.
No, I like pain. <laughs> Let's go with the hardest difficulty. Screw it. Y'all saw me pick it. Y'all can't say I didn't pick it. Time waits for no one. All are equal in its flow. All lies are born to the um, to their end. You who protect the glimmer of the of the future. What is these words? Future. <laughs> you have a single year. Go forth and live the, and live in the time you, given to you. I I couldn't read the rest. <laughs> I'm not a fast reader. Look, look. My only excuse is that I'm a dragon that I'm a Dragon Ball fan. And you know Dragon Ball fans barely can read. <laughs> Test the water spruce. Man, this is a queen. Just put it to my head. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then pull the trigger. Don't do it. Come on. Put no put it down. Put it down. There's no way I can't. You twitch, this is just a prop. It's not real. It's they're, they're just acting. Things just got dark really quick. We just got started, man. I might need to move the chug um, later on, like during the stream. Even his music turned off. You think this is normal? Look at all the freaking strawberry jam across the floor. And I realize when I post this on YouTube, I'm gonna have to um, make this video like 18 plus. I arrived so late. I better hurry up. Okay, we're going to a dorm. That's where I'll have that's where I'll be staying from now on. I should be it should be just up ahead. Okay. I apologize if I messed up or I'm reading anything. And this looks epic. Oh, it even has a sound effect to it. <laughs> Little ASMR real quick. That sounds nasty. I'm <laughs> All right, let's, let's um, go to the strip mall. Is that where we're going? It, it might be ketchup. <laughs> I'm just gonna say strawberry jam. Go. Or maybe it's Kool-Aid, we, we don't know. <laughs> Like, is that a coffin? This is a coffin. You're awfully calm about this, buddy. What is this doing here? I wonder what's inside these things. Bodies? <laughs> what else would be in coffins? They won't be casually just here. It's like a lot of them here. It's a dorm, okay.
Okay, uh, what? I can't pronounce the. <laughs> I'm just gonna say the one. I guess this is it. Coffin like an like object, and it's obviously a coffin. Dracula. Imagine Dracula was actually in this game. <laughs> Welcome. What in the world? Hello there. You're late. I've been waiting a long time. Let's do this instant transmission. Next if you thing. wish to proceed, sign your name here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. All it says is that you accept full responsibility for your actions. Okay. Wait, what does that say at the top? Why are we just randomly signing contracts? <laughs> we're not just we're not gonna read what <laughs> I'm trying to read what's at the top. I can barely see it. Agree to the statement above. I choose this fate of mine. Own free will. Interesting. Okay, what should I call myself? I'm trying to register a few names in my head, but I'm not really sure what name to use. Sound sketch? It really does. No, let's go with this. Let's go with this. Um. Okay, we okay, what do you think, Chuck? Is that a good name? <laughs> Morgan. So I changed the name to that. Okay, this is the name I'm gonna go with, Kashiro Koriyama. I feel like I feel like that's a decent name. Yeah, let's go with this. Let's go with this. Yeah, with Kashiro. Good. Why did we sign that contract, bro? Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. You can't plug your ears or cover your eyes. Will you hear me? I feel like you have a deep connection with the name Morg. And so, it begins. That was the girl that was trying to are you here at this hour? commit self deletion. Don't tell me. Wait. Oh, no. On the spot? I didn't think you'd arrive so late. Wait, hold on. Who's this? Oh, 
Boom buns. Ooh. <laughs> That's the me shoe. Oh, I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna chill. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's he? <laughs> I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna chill. He's a transfer student. It was a last minute decision to assign him here. Is he mood switch? He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boy storm. I don't even care that she was just trying to shoot me just now. I'm just, I'm interested in this other girl, you know. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a second year this spring, just like you. Call me Takeba. Uh, nice to meet you while you have a gun. Is this the girl's door? <laughs> uh, nice to meet you. I'm just gonna ignore the fact that she pulled the she was about to pull a gun on me. Nice to meet you too. It's getting late. You'll find your room at the end of the hall on the second floor. Your things should already be there. Why don't you get some rest? Okay. All right. I'll show you the way. Follow me. This goes to <laughs> this goes to show a good distraction can fix anything. <laughs> Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's all the way at the end here. I mean, you ain't wrong. Um, do you have any questions? Um, what was that contract for? Does that kid live here too? Yeah, what was the contract for? So, what's up with that contract? Huh? Contract. She don't even know what the contract was for. What are you talking about? Gary doesn't seem to know what I'm talking about. Uh, can I ask you something? Okay. On your way here from the station, was everything okay? Uh, yeah. What do you mean? So we're not we're just not going to talk about it. You're fine. Oh, well, okay. Don't worry about it then. I'd better get going. Um, I'm sure you still have questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night. Okay, this is our little home space. Okay, the room came pre-furnished and everything. I sp I'm spent. I should put my things in the closet and get to bed early. Alright, I can save my progress. Okay, as for network data, I'm not really worried about that right now. But I will save real quick. All right, let's uh, okay, there's nothing on the shelf yet. Then we can add things to the shelf. We got a little desk here. If this is clean and organized. I should be able to focus while studying here. I'm about to put my stuff away in the closet for now. Okay. My reflection looks tired. I should put my stuff away and go to bed early. You really want to sleep. <laughs> It's the fridge. There's nothing in, in particular. <laughs> There's nothing in particular I want to. I want to chill right now. Okay. It's calendar. You can purchase DLC and redeem by wait. Purchase DLC can be redeemed by checking the closet in your room. I should put my stuff in the closet. All right. Let's just head to bed. 
Sleeping in your bed will allow you to advance forward in time, proceeding to the next day. School starts tomorrow. I should go to sleep early. I'm ready for my first day of school. I can find my I can find it myself is crazy. I mean I really would like some guidance. Sleeping is based is technically time travel. This is how we'll be getting to school every day. It's a monorail. Continues taking sleep. I honestly love the ride here. It almost feels like we're flying over the ocean. Oh, by the way, our school's at the last stop on this line. It's called Tatsumi Port Island. Have you yeah, heard of it? Time the whole thing's man-made, and our school's smack dab in the middle. Oh look, there it is now. Morning. Well, here we are. Allow me to welcome you to Gekko Khan High School. I hope you like it. Hey, hold on. You're okay on your own from here, right? Now let, now let the music play for a little bit. I'm kind of vibing with it. I better not get copyrighted for this. Can y'all imagine going anywhere there? Just so um, I could just randomly see coffins in the middle of the street and cool it everywhere. I'm, I'm playing, I'm playing. But I would actually enjoy coming to a place like this, you know? If it looks this beautiful. Let's see. I guess you should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is over there on the left. They'll tell you more when you get there. Oh, that about does it. Any questions before I go? Um, which class you're in? Not really. I feel like asking someone like which class you're in. I don't want to make it seem like I'm just going to randomly visit her class while I'm walking in the hallway or something. Just let's say not really. About last night. Don't tell anyone what you saw. Okay. See you. All right, so um, that girl over there, she tried to pull a gun on me last night. I'm not sure what were, what was her deal was. Like we just met, I was just trying to walk through the door, you know. I I was trying to find my way to my dorm, and um, she was ready to uh, end my life. <laughs> There's a crowd forming in front of the <laughs> the bulletin board. Maybe I, maybe I will take a peek before going to the faculty office. Okay. Okay, basic controls. Look how lively this place is. Like, look at all the students walking around. Where is, why are y'all guys' eyes at? Okay, okay, let's stop playing around. Let's go, let's go to the bulletin board. Okay, class rosters are posted. My name is, my name is added on a small note off to the side. Class 2F, Kashuro Kuriyama. Mm, the name Yukari Takaba is also on the list. It seems I'll be in the same class as her. Got a balance get, getting a call. All right, Storm. Thanks for stopping by. All right, let's head to the faculty office. Where's that at? Sir. Sir, why are you wearing that? 
Let's see what we're looking. Look, I'm not gonna say anything. Okay, here's the faculty office. Okay, this should be the faculty office. Should I go in? Enter. Oh, are you the new student? Yes, I am. Huh. Hmm. You're a second year, correct? Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. I mean, what can I say? I had to move around a lot since uh, my parents could be in different jobs, you know, like. Let's see, 10 years ago, your parents. I'm sorry, uh, I've been so busy. I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Ms. Toriumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. Uh, thanks, nice to meet you. What's your first name? That's crazy, Lex. Um, your teacher for their first name. I'm not gonna do that. Wow, such enthusiasm. Yeah, we have to have we have to have a good impression. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Come on, I'll show you the way. And so, another new school year is upon us. I'd like each of you to remember the proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means... The principal continues with his speech. Psst. Hey! You came to school with Takeba-san this morning, right? I saw you two walking together. You must be pretty close, huh? What's the deal between you and her? Oh, and uh, does she have a boyfriend? <laughs> Nobody seems to know. Um, she does. She doesn't. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Oh really? I thought you might know, but I guess not. Wait. Like I just met her. How close are you guys? Who's that? Someone's talking. Knows he much? Sounds like it's coming from <laughs> Toriyumi's class. I say I don't know. Hey, shh, be quiet. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna get me in trouble. I think that dude has like some kind of crush on her or something. That that's probably why he's asking. What's up, dude? How's it going? Hello. What? Don't look at me like that. And you are. What do you want? Me. Call me Junpei. Junpei Yuri. I transferred here when I was a second year in middle school. Pretty tough being a new kid at first, you know? So I just wanted to say, hey, see what a nice guy I am? Normally when someone says they're a nice guy, they're normally not a nice guy. Hey, hey it's Yukatan. Didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> there you go again, acting like everybody's best friend. Try not to make him uncomfortable, okay? What? I was just being friendly. If you say so. I mean, so far he has some cool vibes. Anyway, so more. Who'd have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? Yeah, no. Is this a coincidence? It must be fate. Uh, let's go with um. This is a coincidence. No, but still, I was a little surprised. Um. Hello. Are you forgetting I'm in this class too? Anyway, I gotta ask. I heard you guys walk to school together. What's up with that? Come on, get the dirt. She's my personal goat. What are you talking about? We just happen to live in the same dorm. Why do people always jump to conclusions? Have rumors been You'll spreading be about already? Now oh, I'm worried. Right. Hey, you didn't tell anyone about you know what. Did you? Um, I didn't. You know what? Dude, let's just, let's just play like we don't know. Don't tell me you forgot already. Seriously, don't say anything about last night, okay? Why would you say that? What? <laughs> what? Last night? You gotta watch what you say. People take it the wrong way. 
from yesterday, and there is absolutely nothing between us. Jeez, I have to go now. There's something I need to take care of for the archery team. You better not start any more rumors. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> ah, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. She's so paranoid. I mean, in this day and age, a lot of people be taking rumors <laughs> seriously. Here, and people are already talking about you. Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You're the man. Well, here's to a fun school year, dude. You ready to head out? We can walk to the station together. Okay, should we also take a look around the school while we're at it? I'll just follow you around if you want to leave. Head to the front, head for the front entrance. Okay. We should probably do a little bit more exploring. Cause honestly, I feel like, what the heck? Who's this guy spying on? Over here being looking pretty creepy over there. I wonder who that guy is spying on. Yeah. Go. All right, let's go. All right, let's look around the school real quick. Okay, there's a student council room. Restroom, what's upstairs? That's where the classrooms for the other grades are. There's nothing, there's nothing for us there. If you want to go to the rooftop, you got to use the stairs on the other side. Okay, good to know, good to know. Once you try to head down. I'll just head back here. And this kind of reminds me when I went to, uh, I mean, when I was in my last year of high school, because we switched to like a whole different building. Because they were having plans with the um, old place we used to be at. Yeah. So pretty much, um, kind of did felt like this it was like a lot of people in the hallways it was like in these short areas especially and i hated it mostly because i was a socially awkward person that just didn't like to be around that many people and it just it didn't feel i mean honestly it didn't feel like i belonged there because one of was the only black kid there um so it never really felt like i ever got used to high school so when people like say like, oh, I miss high school and all this, I'd be like, I don't feel the same way. <laughs> I had a horrible experience in high school. Sign, I'm already a second year. I hope I can fit in with my new class, with my new class. And when you will, you will. It just takes some time, it just takes some time. You might have a better chance than me because um, I had a horrible time in high school, man. You can't, okay, you can't go back downstairs to there. I know it's confusing, right? Wait, what? Now how we get back down? I guess right here? Okay, there we go. Aren't you supposed to be in archery class like you said you were going? Oh, you're leaving now? You know how to get back, right? Jupei, don't go teaching Kuriyama kun any weird stuff. All right. Yeah, yeah, I'll catch you later, Utah. Okay. I guess we can just should have leave at this point. But every time I look at like a high school setting in video games, movies, like yeah. maybe anime, I just think about my time in high school and how different it is compared to how people like present it or how different it is compared to other people. You ready to get out of here? Yep. That's right. Well, let's get going. Huh? Check out the jocks on their run. 
look how like look how lively this world is, man. Hey, you thinking about joining the club? I'll wait. New members gotta wait a while before they can apply. Your stop city with Todai, right? Horns, man, must be nice. Talk about living life wild and free. Well, I'm going this way, so see you tomorrow. Alright. Who kid is this? <laughs> what are you doing by yourself? Where's your where's your parents at? Everyone's excited because school's starting, but I don't really care. The news has really been weird lately and I even saw some policemen around earlier. So what are you doing here by yourself? Should you be like with Parents or something? We receive a call from this area. Is everything okay? Uh, uh, not this again. It's the same, I mean, it's the same as the weird syndrome been reported all over the news. Okay. This is look like he had a day. You see how he's just hunched back a little bit? He just wanna go home. <laughs> this is the type of guy that hates his job. I guess the new school semester started. I was wondering why I've been seeing so many students around. The world's a strange place these days. These kids better prepare themselves for the future. Yeah. Ooh, we got the strip mall here. Okay. What's up with these kids being by themselves? Where y'all parents at? My friend has a cat. It's so cute. I'm not allowed to have one though. So I tried to get my fill of cats by looking at strings. Understandable. Understandable. Hey there, kid. Haven't seen you around these parts. Are teriyaki lip smacking good? <laughs> lip smacking good? <laughs> You'll be asking for more before you know it. Okay, let me get one. In fact, let me get like about like five of them. <laughs> okay, this is the town map. Use the time out to navigate your surroundings and move to one location to another. Visit as many spots in the town as you can, and you'll be added, and they'll be added into the map. Oh, so you have to mostly just explore each area that you pretty much can, pretty much. But we're trying to head back to the warm. There are all kinds of shops here at the Iwap Akudai Strip Mall. Please some said there, right? If you're craving delicious food and head then head to what? Katsu? Wakatsu? There's also a Haga Curry, a famous ramen shop. You can also find dessert there and burgers and and sorry I'm going out on about food, huh? Guess it's eating time, just kidding. That's what he got guys' parents at. That's all I'm worried about. Got these kids running around by themselves with all these people around. Welcome back. Hey. How you doing? How was your first day of school? It was alright. Not too bad. Yes. I see. Well, don't ex don't hesitate to ask your classmates for help if you need any. If you need it. Oh, apologies. I didn't mean to keep you here. You had a long day, so go get some rest. I mean, I'm fine. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. I guess we're going to bed. Hmm? 
Have you seen the newspapers lately? There's a lot going on. I know. Severe cases of apathy syndrome are suddenly developing in people who showed no symptoms prior. It's been quite a topic of discussion. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It's gotta be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay out there on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. This isn't a game, Akihiko. I hear people talking. <clears throat> hey, have you heard the rumor about... Wait, what was it again? The bathroom? Hold up. That's old news, besides it's a ghost. It's just a ghost story, not, not a rumor. You're talking about that one girl, right? The second year? She stopped coming to school and just sits around staring at the walls all day. Whenever her mom tries to talk to her, the only thing she says is, it's coming, it's coming. Is that really how the story goes? Eh, whatever. It's probably all made up anyway. It sounds pretty made up. Some disturbing rumors seems to be spreading around the school. The first girl just wrong. Okay, time for class. Open your textbooks. We will take a look at your first novel by Zan Zinzo Kassai. Oh, why him? I've been more interested in Toka Kadneko work lately. I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing everything. <laughs> I'm not that good when it comes to reading out loud. I mostly am better whenever I'm reading within my mind. I wasn't really like fluent when it came to like reading out loud. So that's why I hate popcorn reading whenever we were in school. Because as soon as someone picked me, I'd be struggling, man. His essay, okay, his essays are fantastic, and he's also famous haku poet. I wonder if, yeah, I wonder why all this isn't in, in the textbook. Well, I guess he, I guess I'll bring his book next time. Speaking of haikus, they are often used. Okay, they often use words or phrases to relate to seasons, but it isn't easy to get them mixed up. For example, you think you think tasty bamboo shoes and vivid carbs streamers will symbolize spring, right? Well, they actually relate to summer. Akupo is usually referred to seasons based on the lunar calendar, making it fairly complicated. Hey Laura, are you listening? Here's a question for you. Among these phases, a rain, a rain of flowers, misted mirage, and a and vivid car of streamers. Which one symbolizes summer? What? Uh, Kasuri, are you listening? You're listening, right? Run a better hand. Okay. I'm pretty sure it was um, vivid carps, right? What phase? Okay, what phrase symbolizes summer? It was the vivid carp streams, right? Exactly. Hey, let's get it. Let's get it. Yep, that's right. You were listening to me after all. By the way, mist mystical mirage and a rain of flowers represent spring. A mirage. And is a natural phenomenon that occurs on around late March to early June. A rain of flowers refers to a spring showers around this time cherry blossoms bloom. It's not literally a rain of flowers. Make sure you remember all that. Our next topic is well, you know how much I like to pay attention. And you seriously saved my bacon for sure. Koryama kun gave him an answer just now. He must have a good memory or something. I mean, what can I say? 
What can I say? I can hear my classmates whispering. I become slightly more popular. Hey. Oh, so we can work on our like social stats in this game. Okay. Class is ended for today. I should head back to the norm. to die mall strip mall is bustling <laughs> i've never heard anybody use that word in the sentence for like in a long time actually i never think i heard that word ever being used with the activity in the afternoon is our new guest. Um, who's this? Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Nice to meet you. Ikutsuki. Hard to say, isn't it? Ikutsuki. That's why I don't like introducing myself. Ikutsuki. Even I get Ikutsuki. tired sometimes. Please, have a seat. It's gonna take me a bit to fully pronounce I word. apologize for the confusion regarding your accommodations, but it may take a bit longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Why are you here? Who lives here? The other night I saw... No, I'm good. To welcome you, of course. You don't mind, do you? I mean, I don't mind. Speaking of which, Takeba-kun, have you seen Kirijo-kun by any chance? She's upstairs. As diligent as always, but it couldn't hurt to come down and say hello. Is there anything else? Who else lives here? Getting an ass all? No, I'm good. I would ask him this, but I just don't want to seem like, um, I don't want to seem like I'm sounding crazy. You no, know, I'm going to go ahead and try it. You saw something strange? Like what? <sighs> you were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. Something doesn't seem right. Any other questions? Um, who else lives here? No, I'm good. Excellent. Here's to a wonderful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me. I'm sure you're worn out from all these formalities. You may want to consider going to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. <laughs> Get it? Bookworm? <laughs> because you're students? Uh, clever, isn't it? Um... Yikes. He'll get used to his lame jokes. Well, he makes a lot more of those. I guess I'll head back to my room too. Like the chairman said, you should get some rest. Transferring schools is a real pain when you're not used to it. Good night. I should listen to him and go rest in my room. Hello there. They were here spying on me. So, how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's currently fast asleep. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. Come on, what do you say? I can't leave a pretty girl standing around in the cold like this. Mm, what do you think, Mayumi? I mean, I'm cool, but if my parents found out... They don't need to know. Just drop them a text. It'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Are you telling me that's all it took? That, that's all it took? What if this guy ended up trying to snatch you up? What if he catch, catch you slipping? 
guys don't don't do stuff like this man if someone's like if you know you shouldn't be doing something don't do it just, just don't do it because there's a reason why parents don't allow kids to like do stuff like this there's a huge reason why uh, this sucks I was scared yeah, shitless. Right. Nice story, though. That was the Bayside Rockers, brought to you by KJ. And that's all for tonight, folks. Yeah, Tune in again next week, same time, same place. <laughs> the program you just heard was sponsored by Curito Electronics, bringing the future to you. The time is now 12 a.m. What just happened? Dark hour. So people just end up automatically in coffins? What's happening to me? You know he did. Still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be. As you can see, he's retained his human form. He may be asleep. But he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Though, come to think of it, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. But is going to continue this problem? I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. I mean, I don't mind the, the beautiful lady to be, you know, staring at me while I'm, I'm so. <laughs> Welcome to the Velvet Room. One more. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. That's the document I signed at the door. From now on, you shall be welcome here as a guest in the Velvet Room. You were destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my assistance to do so. That's what the contract is for? One thing the in return. Abide by your contract, and assume full responsibility for the choices you make. Okay. I don't understand. Is this a dream? That is fine. For now. You're not gonna explain? Hold on to this. The Vicky. Until we meet again. So buddy was just not gonna explain, okay. It feels like I had a strange dream. It's time to go to school.
You know, I'm so sleepy today. In times like these, it's the best course of action, of action to sleep during class. That adrenaline, that adrenaline rush you get from dozing off right in front of your teacher is, can really spice up your, your dreams. I really, not really. As a person that do, that did sleep in class, because there was like mornings where um, I would be extremely sleepy, right? And as most of the time, like I had problems like sleeping throughout the night to the point where I would end up sleeping in my first period every, like every day of school. I did not get any adrenaline from sleeping in class. I just needed rest so I can focus throughout the day. And my first class didn't really seem that important to me. So I pretty much was sleeping in that class. And um, pretty much um, try to make it through the day without sleeping. I mean, I would try my hardest to pay attention without falling asleep, but it was like so difficult to try to stay awake, especially when your teacher was pretty much um, talking about like the same thing over and over again, that you kind of got used to what they're already teaching. So you can probably like easily get the work done and then just fall asleep, but don't, don't do that. I'm not saying anybody, like everyone just start sleeping in class. Don't do that. I know what you mean. Don't sleep in class. <laughs> But I'm telling you the same thing. Don't sleep in class, bro. Oh, you think so? Whoa, you take studying pretty seriously, huh? But it takes real courage to sleep in class, you know. I didn't have no courage. I, I just was too tired, man. And again, since I'm not listening to the lecture, I'm pretty sure I'm screwed later. Oh, but we have a classic le lecture today. That means we're stuck with Mr. Old Nasty. Oh. Okay, die. Now, moving on. <laughs> I'm Mr. Ekodai. Ekodai. I'll be your classic lecture teacher. And I'm gonna be. <laughs> I swear when I'm editing this, I'm gonna feel so stupid. Cause, um. I know I'm having a difficult time reading through all this. <laughs> so, hearing myself reading it back as I'm editing this video. I'm gonna feel absolutely stupid after this, man. We'll be learning all about the good old Japan through some truly great stories. Exciting, right? Now, some people say classic lit isn't re relevant anymore, but oh, they're wrong. The students, the other teachers, they don't know what they're talking about. Nobody really understands it like they should. I'm feeling sleepy. Should I close my eyes for a few minutes? No, stay awake, stay awake. Lock in, lock in. Good grief. Hey, are you listening to me? Let's wake up, shall we, children? Now open up your textbooks. First on our syllables is Iso Monogatari. Monogatari? Please tell me I said that right. The origin of the Japanese literature. It's a very interesting story. You youngsters might call it the bomb. <laughs> Don't ever use that word again. <laughs> I hate it when teachers do that. They just try to use certain youngsters like words and it's just awkward after like after they say it. I can't tell you people are zoning out on me. I forced myself to stay awake and listen to the lecture. Hey. I'm telling you, I have I had to lock in. I had to lock in. We're currently at Slacker. We're gonna we're gonna build that up. We're not gonna be a Slacker. Sup? How's it going? Want to stop somewhere on the way home? Sure. But where? I don't know. Maybe grab a bite to eat. That's right. You're new around here. No worries. I'll show you. It's just around the corner from here. Let's go. Is Polonia Mall. Ooh. Whenever I hang out with the guys from school, we end up coming here. I mean, it's a nice place. It's a, it's a nice little place. There's a karaoke box, an arcade. Oh, yeah, you can rent out CDs too. Then there's that club over there. Not that I've ever gotten it myself. We got a lot of exploring to do. This place may not look like much, but I'm not complaining. Well, let's check out the CDs. Oh, whoa, that's 
new? I gotta try this. Let me show you my mad crane game skills. Hey, hey, you know those are mostly a scam, right? Don't fall for the scam. I hung out with Junpei for a while before heading back to the dorm. Honestly, I think those cranes are those crane games are mostly a scam. You're pretty late. I don't mean to be overbearing, but please don't make don't make this a regular occurrence. Well, in any case, you look pretty tired. Why don't you go to bed early tonight? I mean, before I go to bed. I mean, I'm trying to get to know you a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna <gym>, so. <laughs> Wait, how old is she? I guess she's gonna bed. exhausted maybe it's just because I haven't I haven't got used to living here just who was that old man from in the dream I saw last night and what was that what was that about that contract all about I guess I'm gonna get better at reading. <laughs> reading out loud. Like I feel like I really need to because I'm playing a lot of games where I have to actually read out loud. And it feels awkward whenever I'm like reading <laughs> and just hearing myself read. And I'm having like a difficult time reading through most of the um Most of the text. How is he? Looks like he's a little worn out. He went to bed without changing out of his uniform. Other than that, nothing has changed since last night. Hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. This subject is rather unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. Oh, don't look at it like that. The two of you are classmates, right? Consider it an opportunity to have someone your own age here. Besides, we need all the help we can get. I guess that's true, but still. Command room speaking. Akihiko, what's wrong? <laughs> You're not gonna believe it. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, it's chasing after me right now. I'm almost back. Just letting you know in advance. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman, that's enough observation for now. We need to prepare for combat. Oh, then it's about to get real. Uh, right. Be careful. Akihiko! <laughs> I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. Is it one of them, Sanada Kun? Yeah, but not an ordinary one. Ah! What was that? You've got to be kidding me. Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takeba. Go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You're the one who led it to us, Akihiko. So I'm going to have you fight. It's not like I asked it to follow me. What are you waiting for, Takeba? Go! I mean, you still took it here. Okay. 
good of y'all like to shake it off some more. A loud noise woke me up. I should check what's happening until. Sorry, but I'm in. There's no time to explain. We have to get out of here now. What's going on? Hurry to the first floor. We'll leave through the back. All right. Just in case. It's short story. Okay, let's go. All right, we should be safe now. I want to see if someone give me like a short sword or some form of weapon. I'm just gonna be asking a lot of questions. Like, why are you giving this to me? <laughs> The, the the main character of this game is just way too calm. It's like he been through this before. Yes, I hear you. Be careful. There appears to be more than one enemy. The primary one's lurking somewhere nearby. What? We have to get to safety. Okay. <sighs> Alright, let's head upstairs. It's getting closer! We need to calm down. It's gonna be okay. Getting to safety is our priority now. We can I sprint? Sorry. Well, I can't sprint. Sorry, I know this is all sudden, but I'll be sure to sp explain it to you. I'm pretty sure that's what it's doing. What was that? Don't tell me it got inside. It's getting closer. Keep moving. Hurry. What if the whole building falls down? No way. That is OST is fire though. That looks, that looks disgusting, man. Wait, what are you doing? Dang! <laughs> oh, you hear the sound effects? It's here. <laughs> Wait. Wait, hold on. I am thou. Thou art I. From the sea of thy soul I come. I am Orpheus. Master of strength. 
Man of the Queen. It's giving me JoJo vibes. Was that? <sighs> Awaken power. Is it over? <gasps> no, G get away from me. I need to protect her. Hey, hold on. Hey. Those shadows. Did they break off from that other one? Hold on, give me a second. I'm, I'm jamming to the music real quick. Man, I need to find the OST for this, man. Um, okay. Um. Okay, let's go for a normal attack. Oh, that, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I might have to use my persona for this. Okay, that did a lot of damage. So they're weak to the... I better not get copyright for any of this music, man. Monsters are gone. Are you okay? Oh, come on. Can you hear me? Oh, say something. It's so good to see you again. You lost consciousness after awakening to your power. Ooh, I see that it was Orpheus who heeded your call. Very interesting. That was the power of Persona, the manifestation of your psyche. Persona, my psyche, I understand. Persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. A mask? I don't, I don't get it. The power of a persona is the power of one's soul. And the soul is fueled by the depth of one's bond. As you form these bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The strength of these social links 
techniques will foster the growth of your persona abilities. So basically, the stronger my connections are, the stronger my personas will get. Time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. My head is getting clear. I can feel someone's presence beside me. You're awake. How do you feel? Where am I? Why are you here? Thank goodness you finally woke up. Oh, this is Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. Okay. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong. He said you were just exhausted. Hey, um, I'm sorry I wasn't helpful at all back there. But wow, that power of yours was really something. What was those things? You mean the shadows? They're what we're fighting against. And that power you used, we call it Persona. Don't worry, we'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh, I wanted to tell you something. I can kind of relate. To you, I mean. What do you mean? My dad died in an accident when I was little, and my mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, aren't you? To be honest, I already heard about your past, but it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine too. This was a while ago, but there was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast, but nobody really knows what happened. At the time, he was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group, so I'm hoping if I stick around long enough, I'll find out more about it. That's why I'm going to Gekukan High, and why I was there when this happened to you. Not that I was much help. I kind of panicked. That was my first time facing them, too. Sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I weren't such a coward. I mean, that's understandable, though. Honestly, if I was in that type of situation, I probably would have frozen, too. I, or probably tried to run away as much as I can. Like, I can't really see myself fighting against, like, creatures like this. <laughs> and then just act perfectly normal about it. It's not your fault, I was scared too. Yeah, let's be honest, just be honest about it. Really? But still, sorry for telling you all this the minute you opened your eyes. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. All right, I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you're okay. They said you could leave once you regain consciousness. So I think you're free to go home. See you. Oh, welcome back. I gotta say I'm so relieved now that you're out of the hospital. Don't push yourself though. Do you want to go get some rest? Don't worry, your room is your room's safe now. Okay. Save here. I mean, this, this was a good start. Hey, this was a good start. Like, I honestly enjoyed this. Alright, guys, I'm gonna end the stream and the recording here. I really do appreciate everyone that was able to stop by, you know, spend some time with me for a little bit. And I really. I really hope everyone on YouTube really did enjoy this. If you guys want me to make more, be sure to leave a like, comment, and we'll reach out favorite part of the video.
instant scrap via guys are new anybody who uh sees the stream right after i'm done streaming i really hope you guys enjoy too i know it's gonna be like a little bit difficult for you guys to just bear to hear me read the way i was reading in this but i swear i'm gonna get better i'm gonna eventually get better but um i'm gonna see you guys later you guys have a good one